Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the all new 2021 Fleetwood Bounders. This is the 2021 Fleetwood Bounder Model 35P. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be looking at this 2021 Fleetwood Bounder. Now, this Bounder's already sold to Chris from North Carolina. Thanks so much, brother. And hey, just so everybody knows, we're delivering it straight to his house. We can do that, you know. So if you see something you like on the show, give us a call. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. It's a squatcha, ain't it? Oh, man, you guys, it's hot out here. <laughs> well, good thing I got here an hour before you did because I got the AC blowing in that thing. Let's uh, let's just get started. So, but, hey, for the first time ever, Andrea, we, we want to get inside the RV instead of outside. Exactly. Model is 35P, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 36 feet, 10 inches. This is the Fleetwood Bounder. It's their top-of-the-line motorhome and i think they're making some changes in the product line i'm not sure this is one of the very first 2021s but they normally have the bounder and the south wind and part of the south wind it gives you the chrome where this year's bounder has the chrome so I, I don't know what's going on but here's what i do know they didn't change the front headlight design and i absolutely love that guys you guys know i love the way it looks with the led lights and everything but here's what else they changed if we back up Andre, this paint job is absolutely, oh crap, hey, you ready? It's beautiful, <laughs> beautiful and blue. <laughs> it's popping. It's popping, I absolutely love that. Another big change to the year, that they're, they're, nobody's using the Ford V10 engine anymore. It's now the Ford V8 engine. It's the 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. Godzilla! 350 horsepower and all that great stuff coming with this engine. Up here, you got your mirrors with the cameras and the left blinker, right blinker in reverse. And then check out these wheels, Andrea. These are nice big 22.5 uh, tires. They're 255-80R, 22.5. And as you can see, they do use the Alcoa rims. I love that. Coming down the side here, you can see that it does have frameless windows. Also, you have a power awning. Let's see what that looks like when it's all the way out. nice nice power awning with led lights i love that right here we do have your aluminum slam latch doors very nice right there we have a propane quick connect you do want to have an exterior grill oh look at that the water heater looks fantastic i love when they paint over the water heater and then check that out there very nice pass through storage right here we have a TV on the outside and then right here is our propane tanks now I don't know the size of this propane tank but don't worry folks we'll have the propane tank sizes lengths with everything about this motorhome down in the description below also right here bing, so everybody can see the specs on television I really like that blue the blue pops we're not even blue fans we're red fans I know um, just your other tire right here and then here is your batteries look at them very nice then this all is going to be storage oh, oh. okay so half storage with your 2000 watt magnum inverter for your residential refrigerator and everything and i love the slam latch doors oh this is nice very nice now coming around the back we do have fuel fill up in the rear i love that it makes it so it's easier to get in on both sides i love the rear cap i love the rear light design it looks great you got your backup camera right here also you have a 5,000 pound hitch in this motorhome kento 5,000 pounds and you have a one-piece tpo roof let's go up there and take a look i hope you stretch this morning here we go now hold on 
Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. You can hear that they are on. It already comes with a 100 watt solar panel installed. I love that. Right there is your Wi-Fi Ranger, and that is your to-go um, your to-go digital antenna. And then you already have the Max Air Fan covers already on. Be careful, Matt. I don't. Those nerve. Those ladders make me nervous. Oh, whoa. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What did the RV salesman's goal take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Perfect. Finishing up with the driver's side. Look at this. 50 amp power cord with a reel. I love that. Surge protector right over there. Andre, when we're done, and um, you know what we're going to do when we're done? Uh, when we finish up, we got to remember... We're, I'm gonna unplug the motorhome from the power and then we're gonna demonstrate that reel. Cool. Show how easy it is. But you gotta rem remind me. Right here's your Cummins Onan 5500 gasoline generator. Okay. Here's your wet bay. Mediocre. <laughs> yeah. And then a little bit of storage. Yep. I mean, all this space for that. They could. Oh, I don't know. We'll talk about that later. And then right here, more storage. And then check this out. It's very nice. Okay. More storage. And then right here, Andrea, this is where you fill up your potable water. Oh, potable, potable. potable. <laughs> I like how they continue with the decal. Yep, not the decal, the paint. Yeah, the paint. Well, Andrea. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. After you. Oh, at least it's cool in here. All right. We are in, guys. Slides are in. Yes. Okay, so look at the walkway here. Yes. Walkway's good right here, but when you get here, you kind of got to maneuver a little bit, and then it's a good walkway to the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. I like that the bed is accessible with the slide in. Very nice. Now this one has a lot of slide outs. It sure does. Great. Now, while the slide outs are coming out, I do have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And we thank you. Don't we, Andre? Yes. <laughs> Andre is just looking at me. All right, do a 360 while I get this last slide out. Now. This is crazy how big it is. Look at that. That's awesome. Has three slides? Oh, four slides. Four, four slides. I think Fleetwood's been listening to us. I see some changes in here I like. Well, they didn't, They, but they still have that crummy ladder on the back. Yeah, yeah, they do, but I can tell some interior differences already. All right, well, let's get started up front, Andrea. Check this out. The new Ford V8 engine. You know we love this. You got your auto leveling right here, cup holders. Fleetwood's already had the best dash designs, right? And I was worried when the new V8 came out that they, were, they would change the dash, but they didn't. It still looks fantastic. I love the double screen and I love the height right here. How, again, when I'm driving, my peripherals can see that. You got your little cubby snacks. And Andrea, you want to sit in my co-captain seat? Sure. Oh, you guys, you already know I'm partial to Fleetwood, so. Yep. I'm going to be a little bit more harder, harder on them than I am everybody else. But look, I love this. I love how sturdy it is. 
they didn't change it. Yep, and the dog house right here was very easy yeah. to climb over. Um, cup holder here. Then we got you know your map lights and everything. What I love about this chair is when you turn it around, it does have a footrest. Yes. So it's kind of like a recliner captain yes. seat. And right there in the middle, uh -huh. you have a place for the pedestal table that goes in between nice. the seats that swivel. And then we do have a bunk over the cab. And it does drop down really fast. It does. That. And it holds what, 500? Yeah, I believe 500 pounds. Very nice. Yes. Now, as you can see back there, it has cubbies and a TV for anybody using the bunk. Yep. And it's actually pretty comfy. Yep, well, it's comfy for non paying customers. Yes, and you have a ladder that would go here. Just because it was important to my customer, um, it does have Sony speakers because uh, he was asking about it. The Sony front dash and uh, the speakers. I want to comment on, I don't know if I've never noticed this, you guys, but have there always been valances over the door? Probably not. That's probably a new design. Okay. But as you can tell, and I like it is, this bar here. Yes. Very good. But as you can tell, that design is obviously Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, over here in the living room area. So look, you got a nice, I love this. It's a nice four seater couch. It is very nice. It does. Whoa. Jackknife, both no, sides. No, no. Oh my God. Look at this, Andrea. What? It's a double trifold. Does that make it a six fold? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Hang on That's one new. Wow. Oh, <laughs> look at those black marks. Old Jebediah Yoder. That's crazy, Matt. I don't even know what size that would be. That's definitely not a king. No. So it looks like maybe less than two fulls. <laughs> less than two fulls. <laughs> no, I don't get it. No, well, like look, full size beds. Oh, yeah, yeah, But yeah. it's less than a full size. To it's the kind both of, of its own custom size and I really, That's really like it. That's amazing. It's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like it's, that. I have never seen it ever. And how long we've been in the RV industry? For a while now. For a while now. Yep. That's actually great. And I'm glad that they did not go with um, like a jackknife there. Yes, and then yeah. air mattresses. It's, it's great because it's that foam type. And it's actually pretty comfortable for your non-paying customers. Yep. Over here, we have cabinetry, hidden hinge, very nice. It's a pretty deep cabinet. There's a little shelf back there, which is nice. Okay, I gotta say, I do like the balances. I, I like the design. And it does have the daytime and nighttime shades. MCD. MCD. Daytime That's shades. That's awesome. Show it. I got, I'm still making the bed. Over yeah. here, you see you have the TV and the sound bar. Yes. And I believe the TV does come out on an arm. Yes, it does. That's great. So you can oh, turn also, it that way. Yep. Very cool. I didn't even know it did that. And you got your fireplace there. Got the fireplace underneath. Did you underneath? show this cabinet right I here? did. Oh, you're the best. Oh. Oh, Andrea. Oh, sorry, Chris. <laughs> I'm not breaking up your motorhome. I just it. wanted to see if there was, a, that was on a slide or, you know, it kind of like, went over for storage. Dang, going but now we know you. where we can access right. some of our wires. Ah, dang, oh. dang on it. Are you okay? Put the TV back on train. <laughs> okay, over here in the dining room area. Oh my gosh. You got storage underneath You guys, the Fleetwood has the best dinette they if really you have do. to sleep on it. Well, no, 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 not sleep on it because it's small, but sitting on it. Yes. Because it's just nice and comfortable. You got your daytime blinds or whatever. This does drop down to make a bed and I love how it does have the cup holders. And that nice hidden hinge cabinetry, you know, the cabinetry in Fleetwood is just some of I the like best. I like there's a window there too. Yep. And Matt, why don't you show just how easy this dinette goes down? Because that's one of my favorite features. You're making me make three beds now. <laughs> I, I, we got you. Got us. You got to show it. Oh my There's goodness. There's a lot of lot of people that are new to our channel, and maybe have not seen how to you know do this. Are so you punishing me? no, I'm not punishing you, but you're good at that. See, look, look how look how easy that slides down, yeah, everybody. So easy. Look, and boom, you got your bed. 
No pulling the, the, the pads off and putting them back, the cushions. I do like that. Just like that, and then it goes right back up. That's a great feature. Thank you, Matt. Okay, no more demonstrating stuff. <laughs> well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. <sighs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $203,433 MSRP. Sale price, we have it 30% off to $142,900. But, right now we got a weird time, so there's not much more we can do off the uh, sale prices, depending on when you're watching this, because we're, we have a shortage of inventory. We only have six motorhomes, six Class A gas motorhomes here. But regardless, that's not the point. The point is, I can always get you a little bit better price. Andrea, tell everybody what Chris did. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker, bing. Also, there's a contact me page uh, on the website. Andrea, let's continue the video. All right, you guys, look, I'm already loving the kitchen. Yes. Before I even started. I have to comment. Okay. Fleetwood, fantastic job on the backsplash. Looks beautiful. All the way around. I love this design. Yes. It's different. It's new. It's Yeah, it's normally a glossy, like, checkered or different Tile. colors. Yep. I like it. Yep. You've got a tower of power. Tower of power. <laughs> I had yep. to say that really slow. And here we have a cabinet. Uh-huh. Another one. Yep. Over here. This Is this an extension? Yeah. Oh, so wow. if you don't have enough counter space, you got more right here. I love that. And then we have a drawer. Yep. Very nice. And then another cabinet underneath. You can nice. see your water heater bypass there. Over here we have the beautiful sink, and I love the solid surface countertop. Very nice. Very nice. You have this extension here. Yep. And the countertop looks really I great like as it. well. I can see. Under here we got a cabinet. Okay. And we got the nice convection microwave, everyone. Very great, very good size. Yes. I really am liking this backsplash. It's very beautiful. It's a beautiful motorhome. And this is the one thing that drives me a little bit crazy is yep. these, because they're kind of heavy. Well, they're very heavy, yeah. and they're just awkward. So you got a three burner cooktop. Yep, yes ma'am. It's a nice Dometic cooktop, and then you have a oven. Oh wow, you have an oven. Has it always been ovens in the back? Yes. I can't remember. Actually, that is a great size oven. Really nice size, yes, ma'am. And my favorite, the residential fridge. Samsung, oh, very nice. Very nice. Now, guys, this will run off your inverter. Very nice. All right, and we did. Yes. Look at that. Wow, nice pantry. That's and awesome. Then, then there's some more yeah, right and there's there. There's one right here. Look, plenty very of nice. space. Very nice. Well, Andrea, why don't you enter the bedroom and then come sure. into the bathroom? As you can see, there's a pocket door here on the bedroom. Yeah. And I'm gonna go this way, and there's a pocket door again, another entryway into the bathroom. I love this, two ways into the bathroom. Look and then, at this. Look at the shower, I love the shower. One piece fiberglass shower, very nice, good size. I love the seat in it, good height. This is just one of the best bathrooms. Yes, definitely. Okay, you got your towel holder right there. It's the only Fleetwood Bounder that's capable to have a stackable Whirlpool washer dryer. I absolutely love that. That is a super awesome feature. Here's your sink area. Oh wait, both sides. Very nice. Very nice. Cute little drawers there on both little sides. Drawers. Yes, ma'am. Sink. Love that there's counter space there. Look at all these cabinets. That's awesome. Yep. Oh, very nice. Door down there. Nice. Electrical outlet. Oh, Andre, that's the toilet oh, paper holder. I love it. I love it. Wow. Because it's there when you need it. When you don't need it, you don't need it. I love it. And then so more doors. So they were definitely listening. Well, they listened to that. All right. It's now time for the toilet test. And I believe it failed last time. Max air fan up there, everyone. Uh-oh. Fail. Fail. 
It's not a fail. You know I mean, why? It's because of the slide. I understand why. Um, it's because if you want the biggest Class A gas motorhome, you gotta you gotta Give maneuver some. Yep. It's okay. We can 100% make it work. I'm just not a huge fan. There's a cabinet up there behind you. Uh, oh, here's fuses. your fuses. Very nice. nice. I like how it's hidden. So Matt, I'm gonna go in the other way while you go through that way. Okay. I want to show everybody how big the entry is. I just I like this right here. If you can see, I don't know if we showed the wall here with the command center that will control all your slides, your yep. generator, and things like that. And now and we're going the into bedroom. the bedroom. I absolutely love this. Look. Listen, here, here's what I'm wanting to say. For how small, for how tight that toilet placement is, it's totally forgivable with how big this bedroom is. You can actually change in it. You have a nice king size bed. You can walk all the way around. You got storage above. You got a CPAP station. I love that. I love the the core on the bed, uh, the, the headboard. I love the side windows. It is very, very nice. Do we have storage underneath? Yay! We sure do. There is. There's the pedestal table that goes up front. And you got a window right there. You know, Matt, I love the space right here. So if you're getting dressed and everything, you actually yeah. have good room. It's very nice. Now that's behind the TV. Yep. We have drawers. We have four drawers right there. Four drawers. And that bottom one looks a little bit bigger. Very nice. And then and here's our wardrobe. Wow. Ladder for the bunk over the cab. Big wardrobe space, big storage, big everything. I love it. And as much as I love it, Andrea, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Let's do love about it. Here's why because my dislikes, a lot of them are outside. Okay. So let's do three things we love about it so we can stay, hey, only because I want to stay in the AC for as long as possible. All so right. first thing I love about it is where we're standing right now, the bedroom area. I love the opposing slides in the bedroom in a gas motorhome. If you have to change, you can change, you know, you can put your, put your clothes on and everything. And there's just plenty of space, plenty of walkway and everything. This, that, this one thing, I really, really do love about this motorhome. So that's one. Two, Andrea. I gotta say. What do you love? I like the interior changes in here. Oh, um, okay. I like the backsplash. I like the solid surface countertop. I can see the changes. The balance is cute. The pattern right here, it's adorable. Yep, and I don't know if that's always been a double trifold, but no. I really, really do like that. No, I, I don't think it has. But I, I love the changes. Yep. So that's two. In in can we add to that the exterior paint color just popping? Yes. It's just popping. And then three. What I will say is, again, I love the size of this bathroom. You know that stinks, but it's okay because to have the stackable, to have a listen. Here's what I will say. I'd rather have a more comfortable shower than toilet position. You know, and how much storage is in here. I just really, really like that bathroom. Great. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. Andrea? Yes. You go first. Well, okay. The one thing that I kind of would like to see change, and this is just me, I'm not a fan of the glossy cabinets. Okay, you like I more love, of the matted? I do. That's just me, but I know in higher end motorhomes, you're going to see a lot more glossy. Yep. But I'd like to see them kind of have it, that change, make a, a option available, at least in one motorhome, that they can have matted cabinets. Okay, okay, respect that. That's one. Two, I love the sofa being the trifold, but I hate the TV placement. It is really stupid. I hate turning my head sideways. But in this floor plan, to get four slide outs in a gas motor home, it's just something that you do have to live with. So that's that. And then three is outside. Third thing I dislike about this motor home is, we're going out and about the ladder for one. <laughs> 
Oh, and let's do the reel so yeah. we can show everybody. Yeah, I almost why, tripped over the cord. I'm going to dislike glass. This is my last dislike. I do not like that wet bay. I feel like it's just cheap and not put together well. And I just wish that they did a better job with this because listen, they did such a fantastic job with the motorhome, and I feel like they just kind of said, oh, it's just the wet bay. But in my opinion, it's not just the wet bay. You know what I'm saying? I do. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell. Or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get an official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Um, and there is a contact me page on the website. Andrea, do you, do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> yes. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Fleetwood does read the comments, so we want to change RV history. Everyone, stay safe, and I hope you guys are doing well. Awesome. Now let's show this power cord reel. You ready to see how easy this works? Yes. Oh, you push a button. Nice. Show the reel, show, show that coming in. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Very nice feature. Here we go now, on to the next campsite. Well, Andrea, that's it. Thanks so much, Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.